I miss you. I miss you. Welcome back, Gunners. We're here. It's a Sunday for me. It's a Monday for you. Project Driver, we popped a gasket. We had a car meet yesterday during the daytime. Awesome time. Shout out to all the Gunners that showed up. Shout out for that genuine, genuine love. I appreciate. I love all of you. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for just knowing each other. Thank you so much for supporting each other, embracing each other, all that. Family things, man. This movement has grown uh, so fast. It's grown so big. It, it's unbelievable, man. Thank you all for being involved in it. PD. Racing my boy Ben Welds yesterday. Missed third gear bad. Hurt the gasket. Stayed in and fourth. Gone. Andy Freeze was all over the place. I barely made it home. Made it limping home. Whatever the case may be. Look, I am showing you progress on what I'm doing today. We're going to talk about the giveaway. It ends um, the 21st. So a few more days. What is that? Wednesday or Thursday? Something like I think it's Thursday. The 21st. We're giving away six prizes, guys. Six prizes. We've got one free entry for the RXK. We've got the torque wrench set, like I promised you. That shout out to Elite Garage. Sorry for this long intro. Let's have fun. Who cares? Let's be different. Um, we've got five hundred dollars for fourth place. Third place is the YNS MR Material Scratch Resistant Windows. It's a retail of almost eight hundred bucks without shipping. So that's going to be third place, and I can't tell you what second place is quite yet. But uh, it's going to be fun. Let's start kicking butt, man. I got a gunner coming up from North Carolina. He's going to stop by uh, because I missed him yesterday at the meet. And we're just going to chill. We're going to vibe. I'm going to rip this motor out of PD. Is this the, like the longest intro I've ever made? Let's start gunning. Like, like, comment, subscribe. Try it again. Like, comment, like. Comment and subscribe to keep gunning. Alright. Alright now. Alright guys. Alright guys. Alright. Alright so. Alright. Alright guys. Yep. Alright. Alright guys. Alright. Alright so. Okay boys. You got something to say for it? Yeah. Hi. You blew the wells off the intake! Oh god. It was running though. Boy, this thing felt great yesterday. This thing felt great. So this is my thing. Because <laughs> of poor maintenance. So check me out. I got the slave cylinder because I kept missing a bunch of gears. And I took off this slave cylinder a few times and I would have to release the pressure from here and then re-bleed it every time. And I knew it was messed up. I ordered this guy up. It's the part number. Let me share it. K-Series slave cylinder. I ordered that guy up. I was going to change it before we go to the track rental. But that slave cylinder kept making me miss the gears. Remember, I got fresh cables. I got a brand new box in there, brand new clutch. The gears are good on the transmission. But I kept missing gears. And I said, you know what it is? I'm overthrowing that fork. I'm pushing it way too much against the pressure plate, and I think I'm missing the gear that way. Bought that guy, didn't change it, missed third gear really, really bad. Really, really bad. It probably shot to like 10,000 something RPMs. Clicked fourth and just kept hurting the motor. So as soon as I got off that gas, it just started smoking. So now it's time to rip this guy apart. The RXK roller. Trappy will be here tomorrow. We're going to start kicking butt. And that's where we're at right now. It was fairly easy to swap cars. Just took this guy, moved him across the street. Pushed this guy out as far as possible, came around there, went on here, and then this is where we're at right now. Honestly, Gunners, this is going to show us a lot right now. It's going to show us how bad the head gasket really blew up. So. I know that, I know that it mixed. I know that it mixed, but this oil was holding up pretty good. I checked it through the dipstick that, uh. 
that Puro, it, it does hold up really good against the E85. Let's see how bad it is. So it should be coolant and oil. Come on, don't. Look at that. It's not bad. Look at that oil. All right, so it hasn't showed the mix yet. Now, why hasn't it showed the mix yet? It should still show a little bit of mix. It means maybe the head gasket didn't blow that bad. That should have been filled with oil. Man, this motor was running good. I don't know if you can see it, though. We beat the life out of this oil, and it's holding up. It's holding up. Big shout to Pure Oil. I'm definitely going to start using that stuff. Not bad. It's got about 500 miles on it. With, uh, with other oil, you'd normally see the milkshake already. But this is weird. This is weird because I lost coolant, I lost heat. And I don't know exactly, I, I thought it, like maybe a hose popped off or something. We might be in good shape. We might be in good shape, but I did overheat the car a lot on the way home. So am I, am, am I, I'm supposed to see the coolant now because the oil is heavier, so that comes down faster, right? That's how normally it is. But it should be a lot more coolant in there. Or, or was it the antifreeze comes out first? Nah, it, it didn't mix. That's weird. That's really, really weird, it, it didn't mix. It's, I don't, I don't have water or, or coolant in the oil. Did a hose pop off? But it was missing a little bit, then it would clean up. I've got it. All right, hold on, we're on to something here. We might not be that bad. I got coolant coming out of the intake manifold. See that? I don't know if you guys can see that angle there, but there's antifreeze here. So what I'm thinking is, I think I probably cracked, I think I probably cracked the head, probably cracked the chamber in the head. I don't know, I'm gonna have to take that apart. I'm just gonna drop this motor, man. It probably didn't, um, probably didn't, you know, mix with the oil or anything like that, but it, it definitely was smoking yesterday, so it probably cracked the intake manifold side, the chambers on that side, and then it was pushing it out through the exhaust side. Pause. Is that a pause? Whatever. If it's a pause, pause it. Pause it. Pause it. I don't care. Pause it. Pretty much got the bottom all done up. So, popped out my axles, uh, drained the whatever antifreeze was left inside the radiator, took off the traction bar. I'm draining the transmission right now because I did have a slight leak. And I think that, cru I think this crush washer, I think this was the only issue. Hold on. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, there it is, all right. I think this crush washer was the issue, whatever, you see it. Oh man, so drain this uh, transmission fluid, took off the O2 sensor, took off the V-band. I normally, that's normally how I always work. I don't know if it works for you guys. I pause, I like to start from the bottom up. I think it's much easier because the next thing you do is just slide um, your dolly under or whatever your engine your you know engine stand whatever you guys want to use. Slide that under. The harness I already unplugged from the K Pro. Work on the work on the three motor mounts. Disconnect fuel line, throttle cable, slave cylinder. I, I'm out. I'm done. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So <sighs> we're getting to it, guys. Show you guys what I'm talking about with this slave cylinder. Watch this. So once I release it, I can't push the slave cylinder back in. Pause. Watch. See. See, I can't push it back in to try to install it again. So I think this is messed up. 
I hope uh, this lighting is right. So I think this guy's messed up and that's the problem that I'm having. It's all the way out. It's not getting any leeway to go back in. So the way I would have to reinstall this guy was I'd have to release the pressure either here or here and then I would be able to install it. That's why I ordered the new one. So, you know, when you miss gears and you shoot to a really high RPM, the only thing you're causing is a lot of detonation, which is hurting the head gasket. My, uh, how do you say it? My mistake, your benefit? Okay, motor mounts loose, axles off, all the wiring is disconnected, shifter cables are gone, no coolant lines, uh, grounds are off, I think I'm ready. <laughs> to help it forward since I'm by myself. It is going to be a nice little drop right here. There it is. Okay. So now, when I lift it up, that back bracket's going to push that forward up, but it'll be fine. It just has to go maybe about three inches. There it is. Done. Just double check right now, nothing's pulled, money, good to go. Did I press record? I did! But what I did was, I took off the entire engine harness just so I can take a look, uh, take a look at things a little bit better. So I didn't want to bore you by taking off all the bolts on the intake manifold. So I've basically got one left. So I want to take off the intake manifold first because that's where I'm most nervous about the cylinder head. Maybe one of the, uh, one of the ports cracked. So I got this guy here that I have to kind of space out. I think I'll be able to slide. Can I slide this up or do I have to take this guy out? Let's see. Let's see if I can dodge one. Let's see if I can dodge one, Gunners. So I'm almost out of the thread here. Well, I think this is going to be a little bit of a nightmare now. Well, this guy is loose. I know that this one's out. So I'm most likely going to have to release that. Okay, not bad. Wow. Head looks good so far. Definitely coolant in here. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's fuel. Now I'm gonna smell like corn all day. Okay, so it's gonna be very hard to see a crack if I don't pressurize the system. So that's gonna be another issue. So I don't actually have that tool here. I don't actually have that tool here. Okay, so I don't see any pockets of fluid inside. Let's see if I can zoom in as good as I can. So I don't see any pockets of fluid sitting on top of the valve. So normally, you know, they, th these valves sealed up pretty good. But then again, I really haven't looked yet. All right, so this one feels much... Okay, okay. Cylinder four. There's a leak here somewhere. This has all, I feel the antifreeze on it. Everything else is basically dry here. It's much, and I see blue down in there too. And there's antifreeze here. So it's definitely this cylinder, which is number four, because you always start by the timing belt, time and chain is always gonna be number one. So right here, this chamber is one, two, three, four. Good, good to know, right? Good tip to know, always remember. Cylinder one is by the timing belt, time and chain. So it's definitely in this cylinder. Let's turn this motor around and check the exhaust side. Got a nice little setup here. Nice and easy, we work smart. So remember, we had the problem here in this cylinder right here. So we should be seeing a lot more antifreeze in this runner, right or wrong.
think so. May not know it. May not know everything, Aki. But you know how to pop a head gasket. <laughs> Notice why there's a stud there. It's the easiest way to put the header on in the car. Okay, and that's exactly what I thought. See that? That's wet. Backgrounds. Hockey, you gotta go in the background. Alright, that's wet. Cylinder four is wet. Now, there's also that pocket of coolant. Pocket of coolant, and these are dry. One, two, three, four is wet. So this is the problem here. It's either we crack the cylinder head, one of the chambers, and it's leaking, or the head gasket popped really bad here. So we'll know that when we take off the cylinder head. But um, good to know, right? It's good to know. Why not? Trying to stay positive, Gunners. Trying to stay positive. Make sure you press that like. I'm giving you gems today. Okay, valve cover off. Another quick way we can check is taking off the spark plug. So you know what? Let's do it this way. All right? I was going to go right to number four first. Let's go to number three. So we could have a good comparison. So number three spark plug should be dry. Really dry. Dry, right? So now, number four, we should have some kind of moisture or liquid. There it is. Moisture or liquid. It's right there. Yeah. So definitely cylinder number four. Take out the rest, why not? Make it easier to turn on the motor. Turn over the motor. It's still early here. I've got enough time to take off this cylinder head. It's definitely gotta go to the machine shop though, Gunners. Definitely gotta go to the machine shop because on the way home, I got this thing past H. Past H, so it really, really got hot. And um, most likely some warping happened, either the block or, or the cylinder head. Something definitely got hot. I will tell you this though, guys, that pure oil, pure oil, pure oil, hold on, give me a second. This stuff, I'm vouching for it. I'm telling you I'm vouching for it. I'm vouching for this oil. Hit them up. Talk to them. Say, hey, listen, I found you guys on Aki's Keep Gunning page. I'd like to order some stuff. But this stuff is holding up good. See, I want to show you. I'm never going to vouch for anything if I don't test it. So check it out. I'm looking right now from when I drained the oil. And from countless other oil changes using corn E85. Normally, the entire motor inside would look like this. See that? Now remember, there's still some kind of coolant that mixed into here and that oil held up good. See the rest of it? See the rest of it? Hold on. Come on, Aki. Come on, autofocus. Come on. There it is. Yeah, focus. Man, screw you. All right. I'm vouching for this oil. Good oil. Can't wait to run it again. I'm going to order a few cases for the garage. Went ahead and disconnected everything on the side. So I got all my 10 mils off. Guys, take your time when you're taking off these 10 mils. You might miss them. A lot of people miss this one behind the uh, VTC. So always take your time. Look, I messed up already. I'm already speeding. I forgot this 14. I forgot this 14, Hockey. Can you get it done from sitting down? No, you can't. You can't. You can't. See that? Everyone makes mistakes. So we take off this. 
I would have been here, I would have probably cracked, probably cracked something. Well, I would have seen it. All right. Took off my three tens on the bottom of the uh, side cover. All the tens on the side. I think I got everyone. Here we go. Let's see how clean this looks. I'll go against the eggs. Let's go against, uh, let's go against this gear. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. It's going to be one of those, huh? There it is. Crack that seal. Now remember, we have that. Probably a little bit of left and right. A little bit of left and right. Man, this motor was running good, though. I'll tell you that much. That oil really held up. I'm real proud of that oil. Hate to keep emphasizing on it. I really am. Trust me. I've seen a lot of weird oils. Uh, weird oil traits here. Take off my gasket here. Don't want to lose that guy for the side cover. So what I'll do is I'll put the pin in this sucker. I'll release the tension off the chain. I'll begin to take the rocker assembly off and uh, pop this head off. But it's going good. It's a nice calm Sunday. It's quiet. I'm jamming out to some Kodak right now. Like my guides, everything looks good. It doesn't look out of place. They're not getting beat up from high RPMs. So far, so good. It's a good build. Rule of thumb, you put your pin in, okay? You take off this 10. Now, remember, it's loose. So what you want to do is you want to basically have it. It's not on TDC, so we're fine. Um, you basically want to have it to where this is the same position you put this tensioner back in. Pause. Pause. All right, we should have some tension here. Nice and easy. You don't want that loud snap or that uh, that like that aggressive uh, break off from the tension to the uh, chain. You know what I mean? So you want to put it right back to that position right there. I'm trying to work on the blurriness and focus. There it is. Good to go. Good to go. Moving on. So now I will go to, uh, might as well just take this off now because that's going to be onto the cylinder head. So I'll just take off all three. Why not? I'm here already. Yeah, guide still look good. Guide still looks good. Perfect. That's why I always, uh, I always emphasize to all the gunners and all the subscribers, man, don't reuse that brown looking shit. Don't do that, man. You are, you're cruising for a bruising. Rocker assembly, when releasing, when taking off, when disassembling, you want to go outside in. So we'll start here. So I want to take off this rocker assembly also, all together. Oh man, I gotta change this battery. I just seen a sign for it. Okay, I'll change that battery after this clip. Okay, take this guy here. We got our chain off basically. So where are we going? How are you doing this? Okay, we'll let that hang down there. Try to sit it inside that oil pan. Can you see? Yeah. All right. So I want to take off because I don't want the same thing to happen last time. Remember, uh, we take off our tens here on the side of the rocker assembly next to the cam sensors. Okay. I'm going to get my pry bar. I'm going to pry up, right? I'm going to keep this all intact. 
So I start at this corner here, just wiggle, and I'm going to keep it compressed. I'm going to keep it compressed. Okay. I think I'm ready. Let's see. It's this corner dowel here. Keep the bolts in it and everything. Okay. Sometimes they'll get stuck. It's ready. Come on. Stop fighting me. Yeah, right, bro. I loosened you. I loosened you, bro. There it is. Keep it compressed and together. Mmm. I found the problem. I know why the head kind of lifted. I've never in my entire life, in my entire life of building Hondas. Let this dude go by. Let this dude go by. He's letting me know that he knows who I am. All right, I got you, buddy. It's fast. I've never in my entire life of building a Honda have seen this. Yeah, I heard you, bro. Never. Never seen that. The head stud broke. Now, where's the other piece? Is it, is it, did it go into one of these oil galleys? This one broke too. Nah, which company was this? This one's cracked. See it? What head studs were these? Remind me in the comments what head studs I used. Because I ain't using these no more. Wow, I hope I can get that off. Oh, it's off. Look, it's loose. That's why. This one too. Look. Lost its tension. Wow, it didn't seal up. Oh my god. Wish me luck. Nice. So far, so good. Wrong socket, too. But it's working. So far, so good. I got this head stud out. Wow. I've never seen this. I've never in my life seen this. Come on, buddy. Come on, man. For the love of God. All right, let me touch the screen. Pause. I've never seen that. I've built a lot of motors in my life. I've never seen a head stud bolt snap. Wow. All right, let's try to get the other one off. Okay, so I had the wrong socket. It's this guy here, 9 sixteenths. So basically like a 14 mil, 12 point. Now, this one's really bad. I'm probably going to have to take it off. Is it spinning? Okay, I think we got some spinning, guys. I think we got some spinning. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you really kidding me? The head studs bolt cracked and lifted the cylinder head? Are you kidding me, bro? No way, dude. That's some luck, man. That's some... I've never seen this, guys. Never in my life. Maybe some of you have. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm the first one. I'm not a hero. I've never seen this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Let me get this cylinder head off. Sorry guys, it's not a 916, so I apologize. I'm just dumbfounded. It's a half inch 12 point. Might have stripped the bottom of the block. Strip the bottom of the block. <clears throat> Am 
might have stripped the bottom of the block too. I really hate the way I'm working right now. It's, it's, it's super messy here. It's super messy. I don't like working like this. It's all right, we'll get it done. Let's just get this cylinder head off. Just break that dowel off. Put the dowel seal. Try to lift this up. I just hope that it didn't, it didn't warp the head. Because right now it just looks like a head, yeah. Looks like a head gasket. Looks like a head gasket issue. So far, so good. Cylinder head looks good. We'll check it out in a second because this view is not really helping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That head gasket is toast. Check this out. There it is. Destroyed. Lifted right there. Broke the seal. Shot out. I never blew a head gasket like this in my life. In my entire life, I've never blown a head gasket like this. Now, the only thing I'm concerned about, you know what? This is an, this is an easy fix. If, 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 if I didn't strip the block to where the head stud goes, I can just check with a straight edge the deck of the block. I can take this to the machine shop get it cut a little bit, just a little bit, just to resurface it and even it up, put a new head gasket on there, torque it down, put it back in, and be ready. But look, you see that cylinder? Lost all the fuel. That's all, that's all coolant. That's why this is all fuel right here. Let's take off this head gasket. Man, this dirty ass shadow right now, bro. Wow, yo, guys, I've never worked like this, yo. I am really speeding. I got a pan right there. Why'd you do that? Yeah, head gasket. Wow. <laughs> wow. I blew up really bad, man. Wow. I never blew one up like this. Ever. This block has to have... Oh, you know what, though? It might not be warped. I'm definitely going to check it with a straight edge, without a doubt. But it might not be warped because this side stayed cool after it blew up. It never sealed back up. The head lifted. But, hmm. The plot thickens. This is the moment of truth, Gunners. This is the moment of truth. So I know that these two head studs were broken, right? The Not the head stud itself. I'm going to get new head studs, without a doubt. We know that these two came loose, and that's why we popped the gasket, right? And not for nothing, but this guy is threading out kind of crooked. Now, you remember when I used to have to flex? Are these the skunk ones? And you know I love skunk. But I remember I used to have to move the head stud to get the head to go in. So let's just check the thread here. Looks like there's a little bit of metal shavings, but no, not enough to show that that the block is stripped. So what I want to do is I'm going to thread this back in. Look, you see that? It's, it's going crooked. This one too, see? This one's coming straight up. It's not much wiggle in it. This one, see how it's threading? It's like it bent. See that? Okay. Let's try to thread this guy all the way in and check if we strip the block. Put some tension on it. Okay, right now, but what's confusing me is that stopper. Will it stop it? No, nah, it's good. It's not stripped. It would have spun a little bit more. So let's check the thread on this one, because remember, these are the two that, these are the two that were loose. I'm going to check for some metal shavings at the bottom. No metal shavings. There's no metal shavings here. The threads don't look pulled. Yeah. Okay. It might be just a head gasket. Hopefully the, the straight edge test passes. 
and I'll take the cylinder head to the machine shop, have them, you know, measure it up or just cut it. And it's just a head gasket swap. Hopefully, hopefully. And new head studs, obviously. Yeah, this block didn't strip. That I know for sure. Because right now, it would have turned a little bit more after the tension. So, new head studs, new head gasket, check the deck, check the surface on the cylinder head. I'll show you that. I'll show you guys that in the next clip. And uh, hopefully go from there. Man, this car was running great. These cylinder walls. Jamie did a great job with this tune-up. These cylinder walls look beautiful. This one got a little bit hot because of the cooling, I guess. But I like it. Felt strong. Pause. Now the cylinder head, ladies and gentlemen. See that a little bit of gasket is in there. I think this guy got hot. I don't see any bad, bad marks. But. Yeah, there goes our problem. All right. So we got to make sure that this guy is sh is flat. So this is going to the machine shop. I'm going to rip the rest of it apart. Take off all the coolant stuff. VTEC solenoid. Load that up. I'll drop it off early in the morning. Have it resurfaced. I'll know that the cylinder head is 100%. I'll also have them try to test if there's any cracks in the cylinder head. Which I don't think so, because this is a Pro TSX, and this is made for a lot of heat. Like, a lot, a lot of heat. That's why it's great for turbo. But, um, if this was a Pro 163, which is a really aggressive port, I would really be nervous right now that the cylinder head chamber's cracked. Or even a Super 99. Now, when you're trying to make a lot, a lot of power, remember, you need to get rid of as much casting as possible so you can let air in. Um, I hope that was informative. So let me figure out what's... I think it's time to clean up. I think it's time to clean up a little bit. Uh, maybe take off the rest of the head studs. Um, get a straight edge. Check the block. Okay, Gunners. I'm all cleaned up here. Everything's cleaned up. Wash up in a few. It's a lot of variables, right? It could have been caused by the slave cylinder missing gears. Who knows? right could be the head stud was faulty could be my fault could 100 percent be my fault right it's okay we'll live and learn so far the optimistic thinking is the head isn't cracked that's great that's great great news the second thing is i don't think the block is warped i think the head got hurt a little bit but that's easier to to take care of that's that's like an hour jimmy at the machine shop will knock that out um I'm happy. I'm optimistic. Um I'm I'm not looking I'm looking at this as an experience. So we'll get PD running soon. So um I hope you learned a lot during this vlog. Really important news. I haven't been on YouTube in a while. The thirteen hundred horsepower giveaway. This is very important. Everyone should be listening. I understand you want to sign off already. You figured out what you needed to look at, but this is very important. The 1300 horsepower giveaway is going to be live on YouTube, this channel, May 1st. Call it 7 p.m., I think. Yeah, 7, yeah, 7 p.m., give or take, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll figure out the time and make a banner for it. So we're giving away six prizes. In the description, I'm going to put a link for you to get to the exact place on the website. You buy a beanie, you get a chance to win six different prizes. All the prizes will be delivered to you for free. You don't pay shipping on the motor. You don't pay shipping on second place, third place, fourth place, fifth place, sixth place. We got you. I got it covered, man. I'm so excited for you guys. I'm happy to give you this kind of... Uh, anticipation uh, I'm pretty sure a couple of you got butterflies in your stomach paws and you're excited and it all and it only took 60 bucks it's fun we generate money we put it back into the movement we build better cars batter cars batter giveaway motors and we just keep helping each other out but um I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog so yeah we got some work ahead of us. We've got some vlogs to record. Like, 
comment, subscribe, keep gunning.